In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Welcome, my dear students. Today we are having a new lesson, a new unit. So focus well, please, and open your book page number 38. All of you, open your book page number 38. Hurry up and open your books, please. Huh. Today, we are going to start a new unit. So, all of you, please focus well. <clears throat> Hurry up. So, after opening this page, I want to ask you a very simple question. What can you see here in these pictures? We have some pictures in this page. What can you see? You can read you can read the sentences are said in each picture and try to guess what can we say about these pictures or all of these situations in general huh, what can we see what can we say hmm. hurry up Abdullah, Abdullah Sharif. Yes. Yes, Abdullah. What can you see in this page? Uh, <coughs> uh, the mother asked the daughter hmm. if she cleaned her room or not. So we have, we can say that that we have some situations that can happen uh, in any house, in any family, right? Yeah, we have different situations happen between a mother and son, or and do a mother and daughter, father and son, and so on. So all of these situations can happen in our daily life, in our houses, right? Are you there, Abdullah? Yes, yes. Focus, I'm asking you, right? So it's situations that can happen in our house, right or not? Right. Not any of them. For example, have you finished using my scissors? I have them, I gave them back to you, and so on. Very simple situations can happen in any of our uh, house. Okay? So. Okay. That's it. Thank you, Abdullah. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I now I want you to focus with each picture. Just take a quick look over each picture and just read the words said in each picture quickly, just quickly, okay? And try try to decide which one of them happened to you before at your house. Huh. Any one of these situations happened to you before? Hmm. We have some situations. We have picture A, which has a situation. B has another, another situation. C, uh, C, D, E, and F also G. Okay, so. Huh. Have you passed in situations of this before? Hmm. The question is for any one of you. Okay, so no one. Okay, no problem. Now uh, we have our new listen. Okay, so now we are going to listen to uh, these situations, what these people are saying, and we will be back <clears throat> to answer some questions. Okay, about these conversations or these situations. But before we start, <clears throat> there are some new words that we may have today. You may find here in this lesson. So let's recognize these words. Then we will start listening and answering the questions. So focus well. The first word with us today is the word scissors. 
the word scissors. What's meant to, as you see here in this picture, that's, or this is the scissors, okay? That's what's meant by the word scissors. It's a device used for cutting material such as paper, okay? So that's what's meant by scissors, scissors okay? A device used for cutting material such as paper, okay? Second one with us, dishwashing liquid. As you see, it's very simple. Once you look at the picture, once you see the picture, you will know what's meant by this word. But we read the definition also. Dishwashing liquid. Dishwashing liquid. A product, as you see here in this picture, it's a product that's used for washing dishes. That's what we call dishwashing liquid. After that, toothpaste. Toothpaste. That thing that you put on your toothbrush to brush your teeth, okay? That's, we call that thing toothpaste, okay? Toothpaste, okay? The product that you put on to your, or you put on toothbrush to brush your teeth. That's it, toothpaste. Hair dryer, also look at this picture. That's a hair dryer, okay? An electrical device that you use to dry your hair after having a shower for example and you want to dry your hair you can use hair dryer okay goldfish as you see here in this picture this is the goldfish okay it's a small shiny gold or, or, or orange fish that's often kept as a pet in a bowl okay this is a gold fish. So these are the new words that may uh, that you may find today when you are listening or when you are reading our lesson today. Okay, so that's it. Let's back to our lesson. Our lesson today is called Who Used My Toothpaste? Who Used My Toothpaste? Paste. This is the title of our unit. Who used my toothpaste? Okay, and as you know, toothpaste is the product that you put on your toothbrush to brush your teeth. Okay, who used my toothpaste? That refers to that we are going to talk about, we are going to discuss situations that happen in our houses. So, focus well, listen carefully. We will listen to each situation alone. And after listening, we have very simple questions. So focus well to be able to answer my questions. Now, let's listen. Now, we will listen to the situation and picture A, okay? We will listen to this situation and we will stop to answer some questions and we will be back to listen to B, after that C, D, and so on. So, focus well. Your freedom ends where mine begins. I want you to focus with this sentence. Your freedom ends where mine begins. Who can who can tell me the meaning of this one? Your freedom ends where mine begins. It's very important, and you may listen or you may hear it at too many times before, but in Arabic, your freedom ends where mine begins. What's meant by this one? Hmm. Who can tell me? Your freedom ends where mine begins. Hmm. Who can tell me the meaning? <clears throat> Just guess, you can guess. Yes, you can. Go ahead. Uh, Arabic teacher or English? Try to make it to the to define it in English. Hmm. Ah. We can say that your freedom ends where mine begins. Okay? Your freedom, things that you do freely 
you can do anything freely but but do not do not interrupt for example interrupt my uh, privacy okay do everything related to you freely but don't ruin my privacy okay that's what's meant by your freedom ends where mine begins حريتك تنتهي عند بداية حرية الآخرين okay أو حريتك تنتهي تنتهي عند بداية حريتي that's what's meant by this sentence very easy and very important try to memorize it your freedom ends where mine begins okay that's it now let's listen to the first situation together using my scissors I gave them back to you okay very simple very simple have you finished using my scissors I gave them back to you so now I have very simple questions huh. so if I ask better better say better hurry up please Yes, but yes. yeah, huh? We listen to the situation uh, number A, okay, which is in here. Okay, so uh, what's boy? What is the boy sitting on the table doing? This boy sitting in the, on the table doing something. What's he doing? Uh, yeah. We can say, let's make it simple. We can say that he is making a project, right? Something like a project, okay? So we can say that. Another one, but focus well. What's he using to do the work? What's he using to do this work? Hmm. What is he using to do this work? He's using something, huh? That he asked. Co huh? Scissors. Scissors. That's it. Scissors. Yeah, that's it. So he is using the scissors to finish or to do this work. Excellent. Excellent. That's it. Okay. So that's right. Thank you, but thank you. Okay. So now let's listen to situation. B, focus well. Situation B. B. Have you cleaned up your room yet? Yes, I've already done it. Okay, so have you cleaned up your room yet? Yes, I have already done it. So the questions that we have about this situation, focus with me. Okay. So, who is talking here in this situation? Who is talking? Hmm, as you see. Who is talking? Can I answer? Okay, Hamoud. Uh, mother and... Uh, so, and uh, daughter. Daughter. Yes, that's it. Okay. What are they talking about? Talking about uh, cleaning the uh, room. Yeah, cleaning the room. That's right. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so uh, have the daughter cleaned up her room? Has the daughter cleaned up her room? Yes. Yes, she has. That's right. Excellent, Hamoud. Thank you. Excellent. Okay, so now let's listen to situation C. Focus well. Why haven't you done the dishes yet? Because I was doing homework and there's no dishwashing liquid. Okay, so that's enough. Let's see what questions that we have. Okay, so. Who is the mother talking to? The mother is talking to someone. So, who is she talking to? Abdullah al Okay, uh, 
fetishes? No, he, who is the mother talking to? She's talking to who? Who is this? Hmm. Uh, she's son. Her son. Okay, so he is her son. So the mother is talking to her son. Okay, so focus with me. Stay with me. Stay with me, Abdullah. Okay, is this situation before or after dinner? Huh. After. Yeah, why? How did you know? Uh, the dishes. Yeah, because there is dishes, excellent, or there are dishes, okay, in the sink here. Excellent. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Abdullah. Excellent. Okay, now let's move to D. Situation D. Focus well. D. Please stop playing that game. I can't stand listening to it anymore. Okay, so this was our situation. Okay, so now who is talking? Who is talking here in this situation? Huh? Raise your hand, please. Who is talking? Huh, Faris al Khafran. Hurry up, Faris. Faris al Khafran, hurry up. Or you will be absent. So, huh? Faris is absent. Okay, huh? Fahd al Houthi. Fahd. Yes, who is talking? Yeah, who is talking here in this situation? Please stop replay. Uh, yes, yes. We we listen to the conversation or to the, the situation. I'm asking you, who is talking? Who is this man in here? Huh. Um, yeah, huh? You said it. Uh, uh, father he is the father okay uh, father. yeah so he is the father okay so uh, what does he want his son to do he wants his son to do something what does he want his son to do hmm. he's asking her, her son or his son to do something okay so what does he want his son to do Abdullah, can you hear me? Yes, I uh, No, I'm asking you, what does he want his son to do? I'm Okay, what does he want his son to do? He is asking his son here in this situation, the father or father is asking his son to do something. So, what does he want him to do? Uh, he wants uh, to stop the video gaming. Excellent. Excellent. That's it. That's it. He wants him to stop playing video games. Okay. Or this game. Excellent, Abdullah. That's it. You are right. Excellent. Thank you, Abdullah. Now, let's move to situation E. Focus well, all of you. Focus well. E. Have you fed the goldfish yet? Yes, I've just given them some food. Okay, very simple. Now, let's see the questions. So, who is talking here in this situation? Who is talking? Can I answer? Go ahead, Hamoud. Uh, he's talking in... Uh... Who is talking? Huh? Who? E. This Boy one. and girl. Yeah, so we can say that 
this all of these situations are happening in a house the same house so we can say that uh, brother and sister okay so yeah. so brother and sister are talking here in this situation that's it okay what is the boy asking about what is the boy asking about hmm. asking about uh feed the goldfish yeah he's asking about the goldfish excellent okay another one has the girl fed the goldfish yes yes she, yes yes she has fed the goldfish excellent excellent that's it you are right excellent student okay now let's listen to situation f focus well f please put away please put away my hair dryer after you use it okay and can i borrow your shampoo okay please put away my hair dryer after you use it okay and can i borrow your shampoo that's it so we have also some questions here who is talking here in this situation ah who is talking here? yeah so tom mother and get no there are two sisters okay yeah. okay so two sisters okay what do sisters often argue about <clears throat> now they are arguing about something what is it uh, uh, my, uh hair hair uh, the hair dryer After hair you. dry yeah so they are arguing about hair dryer so they always or they often arguing about borrowing things from each other okay so that's it and that's what's uh what sisters are talking about okay thank you thank you Satom. that's it now let's listen to the last situation with us and focus well let's listen together to the last situation who used my toothpaste do you remember the meaning of the word toothpaste so now brother here is asking who used my toothpaste who used my toothpaste i hate this program i'm going to turn it off stop doing that it's going to blow up and mess up my nail polish okay so very simple situation brother is saying something mother also and two sisters are talking also so now let's see what are questions that we have <clears throat> why is the brother annoyed the first one about the brother why is the brother annoyed as you see his face expressions uh, looks like that he is annoyed so why is the brother annoyed ah, please raise your hand okay Firas, can you answer this question yes yes tell us uh, why is the brother annoyed because someone used uh, his toothpaste excellent excellent that's it for us you are excellent that's it another one what is the mother doing with the remote control The mother catching or holding the remote control and she says i have this program i'm going to turn it off so what's she doing with the remote control uh turn it off excellent excellent that's it that's it for us excellent so she is turning the uh tv off excellent or she is turning off the tv the last one for us excellent student okay about sisters now who is annoying the older sister? Hmm. This is the older sister, and this is the younger 
sister okay she is talking she said stop to stop doing that i'm going to blow up our oh, it's going to blow up and mess up my nail polish so who is annoying her uh young sister yes excellent that's it excellent she didn't very focused that's right thank you for us excellent that's it so this were our situations today that we had in this lesson so very simple very easy okay that's it <clears throat> and that was our lesson so i want you now i want you to uh go to this exercise exercise a complete the expressions based on the pictures complete the expressions based on the pictures we're going to complete these expressions according to situations and what uh, said in the pictures so the first one have you done huh. you can open your book and try to find when did we say this sentence or this question yes sir tom uh uh the uh, the uh, the dishes mm. yes uh, the uh, the uh, the dishes uh, yet excellent so right have you done the dishes yet who was saying this one hmm so tom who was asking this uh, this question? Have you finished or have you done the dishes yet? Who was asking? Uh, uh What name this one? Mother, the mother. Mother or sister? No, no, she's the mother. Mother was asking her son if he has done uh, the dishes yet. Okay. Said for the brother. For son, mother said that for the son okay or for her son that's it excellent Satan. thank you okay the second one have you fed have you fed abdullah mc mm. uh, yeah huh. complete this uh, this uh, question according to uh, the situations or the pictures given Huh. Have you fed have the you what? The Excellent. Yes. Have you fed the goldfish yet? Excellent. That's it. I want you to focus with this word yet. Yet. Focus with them. We are going to have, or we are going to explain these uh, or this kind of uh, questions in our grammar lesson. This uh, unit. I want you to focus and wait. So, have you fed the goldfish yet? So. Uh, the brother or brother was asking his sister about the goldfish. That's right. Okay, now number three, I can't stand. Yes, for us, go ahead, my hero. Uh, I can't stand listening to it anymore. Excellent. Who said, who asked that question or who, who said this sentence? Father. Yeah, to who? Uh, son. Excellent. That's it. Right. Perfect. Perfect for us. Thank you. Now, number four. Who used my, the last one, Abdullah Sharif? Hurry up. Yes. Who used my? Uh, hair driver. Hair driver? Dry, uh, dryer. Dryer. No, no. Who used my toothpaste? This is the name or the title of our unit. Who used my toothpaste? And brother was saying, that or was asking this question okay focus on Allah that's it very simple that was our uh, period and our lesson today thank you for attending